You're about to listen to an excerpt of Secret City Geek Lab, Orange County's best in geek news and pop culture features. Broadcasting live every Sunday at 3 p.m. on 89.5 FM in Anaheim or online at ktstfmanaheim.com. Hi, welcome back. This is KTSCFM, you listen to Secret City Geek Lab, and we're going over our trip to CES, and we're going to speak specifically about the Dish TV announcements. One of the coolest things about uh, Dish TV was this, uh, I got a chance to uh, to look at and play around with the Slingbox. Um, the Slingbox essentially is a, is a box, a DVR, well, it's, it's a box, a, a conduit that allows you to watch uh, your television. You know, it, it connects to your cable box, your satellite box, doesn't matter what company it is, but again, it's being produced by, by Dish TV um, or by Echo Star. And um, they're the ones who, uh, who uh, basically gives you a conduit that allows you to operate your television, operate and watch your television anywhere you want, whether it's on your tablet, on your phone. Um, just basically somewhere outside of your your home, so that you know. For me, when I was uh, when I had DVR and I had sixty shows lined up, the only way I could watch those shows is one when I'm at home, and two when it's my turn to watch television. Which means I didn't get to watch a whole lot of my shows. Um, but with the Slingbox, that allows you to watch your shows, get those shows off of your DVR. And uh, and basically bring television anywhere you want. We had a chance to speak with Mark Vina, who is the vice president of worldwide marketing for Sling Media. So I'm with uh, Mark Vina. You're with uh, I'm with Sling Media. Okay, which is owned by Echo Star. Okay, Sling Media. Yes. And uh, we're talking about the Sling Box. Yes. All right. Now uh, I've heard a lot about the Sling Box. Uh, can you tell us exactly what it is? The Sling Box is probably one of the most exciting products you'll ever take a look at. Uh, we the company has been around for about ten years. Mm-hmm. We've got two models. Uh, there have been many models over time, but the two newest models were the Slingbox M1, which is a $149 box, which gives you core TV Anywhere capability. Essentially, mm-hmm. you install that box, it works with any cable box or satellite box that you may have, mm-hmm. and literally, there's no monthly fees. You can access all your t- live TV and DVR content outside your home, whether you're anywhere in the U.S., mm-hmm. outs- you know, out in Europe. Uh, Asia, literally any place you have an internet connection. So basically, it acts as a conduit between your uh, home box and your your cell phone or whatever uh, uh, whatever device you're using. <laughs> exactly, and what and what's really cool about it is that there are apps available for it that allow you to take that content, and you can use your iPhone, for example, that I have right here, uh-huh. where you can play your, uh, your your live TV content back. Mm-hmm. iPhone on an iPad, a mini iPad on Android devices, uh-huh. and in addition to that. We've also announced support uh, for uh, streaming devices. So if you, let's say you have a second home Mm -hmm. and you want to display your your TV content from your your normal home to that uh, vacation home on a large TV set, Mm -hmm. it works in conjunction with Apple TV, uh, Amazon Fire TV Stick, Chromecast, and Roku products. Okay, so if I have the box at home... And I bring, uh, let's say, I bring my Apple TV to my cabin in the woods. Exactly. Uh, then I could, I could basically operate my my home box. It's like it's like it's like the transportation the transporter feature on Star Trek. Uh-huh. It's like sitting in front of your living room, except you're not in your living room. You're at your mm-hmm. remote location. So is it as simply as like uh, I guess the nearest comparison I can think of is like a, a PC anywhere where I'm on my device. And I operate my. Well, that's actually homebox. that's actually a good analogy. We call it TV anywhere. Uh-huh. PC anywhere is like is like go to my PC where you can remotely control your PC and see what it exactly looks like. Mm-hmm. It's a good analogy because what we call our capability TV anywhere. So literally wherever you are, as long as you have an internet connection, you can access that content. <coughs> In addition to that. Our, our capability also technology also works with cellular connections. Okay. So let's say let's say for example you're online at CES, right. waiting for a hot dog, you know, and, and you want to watch TV for five minutes. You can take your iPhone, and even though you don't, you don't have an internet Wi-Fi connection, you can uh, you can uh, fire up your sling box and watch your content using a cellular connection. Mm-hmm. Any cable box that we're 100 percent compatible with any cable box. Setup takes about 10 minutes. Uh-huh. You literally just type in the model of the cable box you have, which is typically labeled right in front of the box. And in fact, which is really cool about it, you'll see the, a visual um, graphic uh, image of the remote control that you have. We, mo- okay. we have a database of tens of thousands of remote controls okay. that are paired with that device. 
so your remote control will actually show up on screen. So you can change channels, you can program things, okay. you can play back DVR content. Okay. So this is exactly like uh, exactly exactly DVR. like yeah, that's a great description. That's not, so uh, for 2015, what are some? You mentioned the uh, being able to, I guess, broadcast on a large television using. Uh, those conduit devices out yes. of TV. Is there anything else coming up? In yeah, so in this to that feature, which we call slinging, mm -hmm. uh, you'll probably see more emphasis from us on uh, trying to bridge and bring together the uh, over-the-top world and linear content. When you watch television on a cable box, it's typically referred to as linear content. One channel comes after right. the other. Over-the-top content is typically what you would see like in a YouTube application. Right. So, for example... You have a, a lineup of content. Yes. So, what we've done recently with Slingbox 500, which is our more advanced premium model, which is $299, uh, when you're watching TV, let's say you're watching the New York Giants play the Dallas Cowboys. Um, if, uh, if you are, at, let's say you're at halftime, you minimize the window, and there's a YouTube app. And if you pull that YouTube app, it's contextual and it will pull up video clips of what you're watching okay. at related the same to, time, uh, related great. to the game. Mm -hmm. So you'll, you'll see us do much more contextual work where we're trying to bridge and bring together and enrich that experience mm -hmm. built around the over-the-top world and the linear world and bring those two worlds together. So you mentioned YouTube. Any other... Uh, not that I can talk about right now, okay. but the, but, but, uh, they're the, but the, they're in the works, and the YouTube application we just announced a few weeks ago, and we're actually showing it at CES today. Okay, awesome. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Thanks That's very much. Thank you for the time. All right, thank you. Okay, so that was Mark Davina from or Sling Media, and we're talking about the Sling Box. Pretty cool device. I like the idea that um, you know we do have a cabin up in the mountains, and um, there's not a lot going on there. We don't, you know, because no one's there a lot. Uh, there was no point in buying a cable service or a uh, satellite service, but this is a great way to bring uh, my Apple TV or my Chromecast device, plug it into the machine, and then to be able to watch um, whatever television, whatever's on my DVR at home, and be able to watch it at that at that second location. Or if you're visiting uh, family and across the country, or if you're just in the other room while everyone's watching their stuff on their DVR, you can watch your stuff on yours, which is pretty amazing. And then also uh, terminology, I'm starting to learn. Um, it's becoming more and more, um, you'll hear more and more about it as, uh, as television changes in, in these amazing ways that you're seeing it happen now. Um, when you talk about linear content, you know, that's where a station such as NBC, ABC, um, Disney Channel, all these cha stations have, uh, 24 hour programming. So from, so from six in the morning to midnight, they're going to play these shows in these orders. That's what they call linear content. You kind of see it um, with the WWE network, where the network has, you can just turn it on, and um, and they choose what you're going to be watching at this moment in time. And then they have what they call over-the-top content. So linear is the, the show after show. Over-the-top is the on-demand. It's the... Um, it's the uh, stacking of shows for per season. So if I watch this show, here's these available episodes. And I can say, okay, watch it in this order, this, that, this, and that, and that order. And uh, that's kind of the Hulu model, where they only provide on-demand episodes, and you watch it at your leisure. Don't miss your favorite movie reviews and interviews. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, and be sure to like and comment about this excerpt. Enjoy.